Canada. Lindsay Kissing or the Honourable Member for Provence. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I listened uh, carefully to the member from Milton's speech, and he said he would give us facts. He didn't give us facts, Mr. Speaker. He gave us people's opinions, void of any facts. And so I'm wondering uh, if, if the member from Milton knows what the largest contributor to carbon is. Does he know it's the oceans? I'm wondering whether the member from Milton knows what the levels of carbon in the air that we breathe are, what their targets are, and what they need to be reduced to. So could the member from Milton provide us with some real facts? Honourable Parliamentary Secretary of the Minister of Environment and Climate Change. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. That member is one of the most uh, vociferous climate change deniers in this House of Commons. He stands up to deny Canada or Canadians and humans uh, impact on climate change. And I read into the record the recommendations and the policy guidelines of people who do this work for a living. They are, they are not their opinions. These are facts that are uncovered by research and mathematics, Mr. Speaker. Now, the, the amount of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere is approximately 350 parts per million. And when it goes a lot higher than that, we have problems, just like inside of a greenhouse. Plants consume carbon dioxide. That's something that a lot of conservatives and climate change deniers will say, oh, it's plant food. No, carbon dioxide is not plant food, Mr. Speaker. It's, it's part of the photosynthetic process. Uh, but this rhetoric that, you know, the oceans are responsible for more climate change than humans, absolutely astonishing. And it's that type of climate change denial, that type of fact-free rhetoric that Canadians do not need in this debate.